Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2018, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky and important, intense at times, lunar activity, the end of an extended cycle and an important pivot moment in another. I'm excited to tell you about it all. Let's start with the new moon. Right around the 8th of the month, we are going to have a new moon. This new moon will be speaking with Pluto in a conversation of tension and taking place in a part of the sky for you that actually has to do with intensity. So there's a lot of energy happening here that seems emotional, that seems provocative, and that seems to provoke you in important ways as well. There's a sense here of having a strong emotional reaction to a moment and then needing some time for introspection. The great thing is, is that this is a new moon, so the regenerative power of it is that much more magnified. But in order to get there, it may be possible that you might have a little bit of a, of a learning curve. You might have a little bit of a moment that feels uncomfortable and by pursuing that and contemplating that more deeply, that ends up being the catalyst towards more meaningful change. This part of the sky also has to do with, as I mentioned, there's a regenerative quality to it. That is a psychological thing, but that's also a physical thing. So if you are involved in any kind of process to create meaningful change in your life, this can be a powerful time where you are certainly determined to have your efforts count for something on another more mundane level this part of the sky does have to do with your relationships with financial institutions now it is possible that you may have to pay attention very much not necessarily by surprise but it does look like it is possible that something would come up where you have to pay attention to a matter having to do with a grant or loan or bursary insurance payment a tax return a benefit you may qualify for whether that is an application, uh, whether that is uh, a matter that you have already secured in the past and now there's another way to go about it. These are some ways in which this energy can play out. I just want you to be a little bit mindful. Yours is one of the signs we should not be mixing friends and money, especially large sums of money. And so if it is a situation where you are co-signing for a friend or something like that, that's where you want to be a little bit careful with this because it looks like it may end up actually costing you more than you realize on the surface. But for all that, it can be a really good time to just do a basic credit check to make sure how everything aligns and to figure out your best way forward uh, where it comes to these particular types of contracts and financial agreements that you are in. As we move further into the month, right around the 24th of the month, we have a beautiful full moon. I am so excited about this energy. I think this is going to be so welcome for a lot of people out there, and that includes you. This full moon is happening hand in hand with Uranus and speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. It is also standing across the sky from Venus as well. There's a lot of very lucky energy, quick changing energy. Um, things being illuminated, information coming to light, and it uh, creates a very positive set of circumstances for you and positive change as well. This is happening for you in a part of the sky that has to do with a few things. One is communications, also agreements, conversations that you may have, contracts that you may be signing, this part of the sky also has to do with particular people in your life like siblings cousins and neighbors so these types of people may be the bearers of good news for you might be actually facilitating a lucky break of sorts in your life but it's also a wonderful time for you to be surprised by the opportunity to make an agreement or sign a contract you've got lots of cosmic support for that to go exceptionally well there'll still be more work to do obviously since venus is across the sky from this full moon it does look like there's a need to balance out your expectations particularly financial expectations that may be there but having said that this is absolutely beautiful energy for even just having a conversation it can go extremely well under this energy where it comes to matters of love two big things happening this uh, month one is Mars Mars will leave shadow at the end of the month 
And the other is Venus. Right around the fourth of the month, Venus goes retro. And it is going to be in the days leading up to Halloween that she's especially active in the sky, reaching out to other power players. This is Venus moving through fellow water sign Scorpio, which means it's energy. You can use that much more to your advantage. The fact that Mars is out of shadow right around the same time that a retrograde Venus gets very active. Well, it tells me that in some ways you are going to feel like fully moving forward with love and with life and with energy and with attraction but at least with love if you are open to meeting someone new you may surprise yourself right around the, that time frame especially towards the later part of the month a online connection a social media connection may transpire with someone that you've been connected with in the past this can also speak to someone who is in some way representative of a very different world so whether it is that they're from somewhere else or they have a very different way of thinking this is love meeting a whole new paradigm and your attraction helping to expose you to new ways of looking at your place in the world for those of you who are in an established bond this looks like a determination for adventure a very spontaneous surprise conversation may come about but for all that and with that conversation ultimately will come a new adventure there's a sense with this energy that the two of you are planning for something envisioning something bigger and hoping that it will come together in ways that feel that much more heartfelt but also feel that much more like the two of you are actually working towards a brighter future together what I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot to love here, but I do love Venus, even though Venus is retrograde, moving through a water sign. You'll be able to use that energy that much more to your advantage. There are lots of love related surprises as we get towards the later part of the month, but Venus is ultimately a blessing, a great blessing at that. You add to this the light of that full moon, that very fortunate full moon. Well, I think it is very possible that you may have the right conversation at the right time with the right person and it feels like it not only opens your eyes but opens you up to a whole new world of opportunity. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.